the setting of Kibere is more like a community. People are uh, close to each other. Their homes are facing each other. So when you wake up or you're leaving your home, you always get into contact with someone. If a virus gets into Kibere, and then it may get out of control. There was a lot of fear. The estimated population of Kibera is around 250,000 people. Social distancing is next to impossible in places like Kibera. Over the years, we, we've expanded into other fields. You are also mapping all like water and sanitation, health, education and also security. The maps are pointing out specific issues that were affecting people of Kibera. When the, the first case was reported in Kenya, one of the things that we noticed were there was a lot of misinformation. The only way to curb this misinformation was to provide the people of Kibera with adequate information. So we were sharing information like uh, the nature of the disease, the need to wash their hands frequently, the need to sanitize, and also the need to uh, keep distance. We've also been tracking all the reports that are coming in from the Ministry of Health and putting on their websites, showing the number of cases that are coming in, the number of deaths that have been reported so far, and the number of recoveries. We are now collecting information around COVID-19. So we started mainly by mapping all the hand wash facilities where people can be able to access clean water. We've also been trying to get in touch with other organizations that are supporting communities in any way. Either they're doing food distribution or they're making masks that they would like to distribute to the community. So we've been in touch with such organization. People are able to see what has been uh, been provided in a specific area in terms of resources and supplies, then they can be able to see where there's a shortage to control uh, the situation where one village is overcrowded with a lot of resources, but some other villages are lacking. So this was also just to make sure that uh, there's that equal distribution of resources. The most important part of it is people are able to get accurate information. That's what we've basically been doing mapping out resources and also mapping out the cases that are coming in and working closely with other different organizations to ensure that the people of Kibera and other informal settlements are, are not left out uh, during this uh, pandemic.